Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome back. Welcome back to the corner. It's been so long. Let's get started with the new world, and I'll tell you what's been going on with the um, with my world. <laughs> Let's go, uh, KMA's KMA's YouTube. How about that? I won't get that mixed up with the other ones. Difficulty, hard, survival, loud cheat off, create world. Hopefully, I will end up in a good place because um, good places are good places. On top of a tree, I could have guessed. Oh, look at that, pumpkins. Well, looks like we're in a forest right next to a savanna. I'll take that. Let's get some wood. Let's get some tools. And I will tell you all about what has gone on. Hey, Woofer. How you doing? Hi. Wish I could give you something, but I can't. I don't have anything yet. So the goal for this um, world is going to be relaxing KMA or KMA is relaxing. It's going to be a um, pretty relaxed uh, series that I'm just going to go at my own pace. I'm not rushing to uh, beat the game or anything like that. I'm just going to go at my own pace and enjoy. And I hope that the relaxing, the relaxing aspect of it is something that you guys will enjoy. So what happened with me um, five years ago, I'm going to call this the five-year arc. Five years ago, I was working a job, had a pension, um, 401k, health insurance, making good money, real good money, uh, four or five times the amount of money that I've made since, um, but I hurt myself uh, off the job. And the doctor was unable to, or was not willing to give me a note stating that I can uh, work with my back. Uh, I hurt my back and the job that I did, which was a post office, you need your back. So what happens when you lose a uh, job like that is that your income goes down a lot. And, I mean, it went down a ton. I uh, couldn't find a good job to replace it. My back was shot. And um, I was just utterly getting depressed because I couldn't keep up with the bills. Uh, we had a higher standard of living um, at the time. And what I was making wasn't even enough to cover rent. So I ended up getting... Uh, scared and depressed and uh, that those two things aren't good together so yeah I went from uh, working for the government at the post office to um, delivering pizzas and doing uber and uh, not doing too well financially and like I said I was getting scared because it was the um, I was having trouble, hey kitty, keeping up with the bills, and I knew that something had to give, and um, I got depressed and actually became uh, suicidal there for a bit. So my um, significant other, knowing that things were going downhill fast, that we are going to lose the place that we're living in, uh, had asked me to, um, hey guys to ask for help financially and I had to a couple of times and I was really against that because I don't like asking for help I'm a guy I can survive on my own yeah tough burly guy oh I've never seen that before okay um so I asked for help and amazingly 
um, the community that I had helped me out. Uh, and I say that amazingly because I just didn't think people would help. Um, I was embarrassed by it. I was kind of scared by it. And, um, and that kind of bought us some time. And then we ran out of time. Get off my bed. Thank you. And uh, my wife said, ask for help again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to ask for help again. But everybody came through. And amazingly, um, with the help that I got the second time around, and uh, we were able to move into a dwelling that we could afford. And that dwelling is a... $300 piece of crap um, trailer uh, mobile home and we lived there for a while uh, things I my attitude got better because I knew we weren't going to be homeless that's why uh, I was really freaking out was because I did not want to be homeless um, you should probably not be hanging out around here Things uh, got better, even though we were living in a crappy trailer. Um, but one day I was at work, I was delivering pizzas, and I got a call stating that a um, tree had fallen through the trailer and cut the trailer right in half. And I got home and the trailer was cut right in half. And apparently it had missed my dollar. The uh, tree had cut the trailer in half. And apparently it had missed my daughter by about three feet. And um, my wife by about six or seven feet. And um, so we had no place to live again. But thankfully, I they gave us another trailer uh, in worse condition, filled with cockroaches. And, oh, a bee. We live there. But now things are settling financially. I'm just going to start plopping things down. Because uh, my wife got her settlement that she wanted, that she's been fighting for a long time. And that settlement was pretty big. Uh, we bought another trailer, but this one's a, in good condition. We're in a good place. Um, all I need to do to finish this arc to be where we were before I was doing videos was is basically I need to um, get a job. Uh, we just finished moving. I have been purposely out of work to uh, help my daughter with uh, school and to move. And now that we're done moving, I mean, we still got stuff to put away and things. Um, I got to get a job and that will finish the arc. And the whole story with this arc, the five-year arc um, from having a job to being facing homelessness to being saved by you guys literally saved by you guys um back to getting on my feet again our feet again uh this has been a wild ride and i we couldn't have done it without you guys and so i have to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for the people who helped me financially and um, emotionally and uh, I just really appreciate it so thank you so much uh, we couldn't have done this without you and um, I you just don't understand how much uh, it means to me to have the support I had when I was going through the worst part of my life. So, um, we're looking pretty good financially. I do have to uh, get a job, uh, but we have a little nest egg now. Um, 
and I'm back to making videos. And hopefully the videos will be better. <laughs> as long as the videos get better each one, I'm happy. So, um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to chop down some of these trees. That's right. We're going to chop down this forest. Because I need some farmland. And in order to do farmland, you need some free space. And I don't have any free space, so guess what? Time to make some free space. I'm stealing your forest away from you, doggy. Don't be mad at me. So I have no idea what seed this is. You saw at the very beginning of the uh, video that I just random seed. Um, so anything that I see, you'll see at the same time for the first time. And so far I like the seed because I'm in like a little forest here. It's kind of flat right next to a river. I got the uh, savanna over there, which will be helpful for, I don't know, something. <laughs> Savannas are helpful for something. What that something is, I don't know. Other than the acacia trees. Oops, I don't want to chop you down. They're big tree. I tend to have a, um, I tend to leave the big trees uh, up because I think they're pretty. They're like, how many trees is he going to cut down? <laughs> All of them. Oh, not without an axe, though. All right, um, there's one thing that I really desperately need, and that is for me to fix this. No, um, <laughs> I need to get some iron. I just need three pieces so I can make uh, the most important thing that you can make in the iron, with iron in this game, which is a bucket. Yes, don't underestimate the bucket. The bucket is your friend, especially early game. So let's go get some iron. Let's go find a cave. Let's go this way. Why is coal important in the beginning of the game? So you can see. Look at that. So much better. Ooh, I see a shipwreck. Let's go check out the shipwreck. Looks like it might be pretty easy to do. I got cats crawling all over the desk. I have three cats now. Um... The ones that I had that you knew prior have both passed away. Um, now I have uh, Simba, who's about two years old, maybe three, uh, and Beast and Stitches, who are both um, a year, maybe a year and a half. So you'll get to see them, uh, especially if I stream. I do plan on streaming at some point, but um, not for a little while. All right. Let's see what we get. Buried treasure map. That's the one I was looking for. Yeah. We found our iron. Okay, let's go home. Oh yeah, just in time for nighttime. That's what I like. Coming home just in time to go. Just in time to go. <laughs> All right, let's drop off the goods. Now, this is why we needed iron. Water bucket. Yes, water bucket. But let's uh, check out this map. Here we go. Mm, more iron. So what we need to do is uh, clear out a 75 
this way by a hundred that way. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all these trees and uh, figure out where I'm going to do this exactly. I've cut out about half of the trees that I need to cut out, but I, I wanted to lay down the farmland first before I cut too much more. Um, but it looks like I'm going to have to take out part of that hill. Um, yeah, I got some work to do to get this farmland in here. And you may be going, why do you need so much land for farm? Well, I like to trade with villagers and stuff. So, um, getting a whole bunch of extra wheat or potatoes or carrots or even beetroot, um, I can trade and get emeralds. So I make oversized farms just for that purpose. So I'm gonna um, wait till daytime and I'm gonna start doing the farms. So the uh, type of crops I'm gonna be doing is uh, eight farms for each one of the four main crops, which is potatoes, wheat, carrots, um, beets. And so each one is going to have eight farm plots like this. So, what is it? Um, that's going to be a lot of plots. But uh, it should be okay. I'm going to um, get the rest of this one up. And I'll be back with you. It's this row of ones, I should say. <laughs> And I'll be back with you. Well, I went a little overboard instead of just finishing that one row of um, farms. I finished the four rows, one for carrots, one for potatoes, one for beets, and one for wheat. So this is what it looks like. So uh, this row will be the wheat and it goes all the way back there. That's the carrots, and it goes all the way back there. There's the potatoes, and it goes all the way back there. And that is where the beets are going to go, and it goes there. So now the thing is that we got to um, put in the sugarcane farm, the pumpkin farms, and... Um, a 
generic bamboo farm. So I'm going to um, start getting to work on that. And um, that will probably be it for the episode. So let's uh, get to work. All right, guys, let me show you my goals for these farms. Uh, this would be the beet aisle. So we got beetroot seeds, beetroot red dye, and beetroot soup. And this is the potato aisle. So we got poisoned potatoes, potatoes, and baked potatoes. The carrots, we got carrots on a stick, carrots, rabbit stew golden carrot then we got wheat cake bread seeds wheat hay bales cookies packed mud then the new farms that I have is um, this farm that goes all the way up there um, get paper sugar cane and sugar We've got this pumpkin aisle for jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins. And also pumpkin seeds and pumpkin pie. And we got melon seeds, melon. Uh, melon slices and glistering melon. Because we got the melons all along here. Then we got this bamboo aisle, which has a lot of stuff. Uh, bamboo, sticks, block of bamboo, scaffolding, bamboo stairs, bamboo planks, bamboo signs, bamboo slabs, bamboo trap door, bamboo fence. Do I have fence in there twice? No. Bamboo hanging signs, fence gate, button, door, pressure plate and bamboo boats so what am I doing if you understand my goal for this season and I just gave you a big hint about the goal for the season of Minecraft um, let me know in the description or in the comments below what you think of my goal what you think the goal actually is and with that, I am going to call it an episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still here, say something in the comments that says that you're still here. Um, I don't know. Make a comment that uses the word quarter. <laughs> yes, so any comment down below that says quarter, I know that you've been here till the end. And I much appreciate that. And to reiterate... I thank all the people that helped me financially. Um, I couldn't have done things without that. And um, I fully appreciate that. And um, just thank you. All right. Have a great day. It's KMA. Goodbye. <laughs>